Hi there, in this tutorial I'll pretty much be showing you how to change most vector objects from this into this. Pretty much making anything looking kind of worn, torn, that whole grungy textured kind of look. Or if you want, retrofying the hell out of it. So yeah, it's a pretty easy process. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to group our badge here and then lock the um, layer that it's on so we can't destroy it or accidentally move something and pretty much muck up what we already have. So to do this we're just going to use our select tool, just the black pointer tool, then select everything by drawing a selector box around it and pressing Control G. Control G will group the items together so we can select everything at once. It will also put our um, our grouped object into a sub layer of its own rather than having every little individual object show up underneath the layer. This is handy because we can lock that group and now we can't select to move it or accidentally muck it up. If you don't have your layers palette showing it can be easily found up in your windows uh, menu item and it's usually there and you can press F7 as well to bring it up. Next we're going to want to um, change the color of our background, uh, mainly because the textures we're going to be throwing onto this um, badge are white and being a white background they're going to be very hard to see where we have put them. Um, so to do this I usually just get a little box tool, we'll make it a dark color, I think dark grey will do for now, and we'll just draw a box around the entire page here. Obviously when you draw something it's going to throw it on top of everything, so to get it to send it to the back all we need to do is press Control shift and left bracket and now send it to the bottom of the pile. You can see in your layers palette here that it's sent right down to the bottom and we'll put a little padlock in there as well to lock it so we can't move it. Alright so now that um, both objects are all locked up and can't be moved we're ready to um, paste in some vector textures. Now I went on the net and found some pretty cool splatter textures here we can use. Um, I'll link a couple in the description which are free for personal and commercial use. Um, pretty much just use whatever you can find. Vector graphics are pretty easy to find on the it's easy to find free ones and um, if you that way oblige you could also buy the, um, the licensed ones. Uh, you'll probably find the ones that cost money are going to be a lot better than what you can find for free but you know that's just always the case of anything that's free. Um, so pretty much all we're going to do is we're just going to select all these ones here and copy them, just pressing Control C and then Control Tab to switch our document and we're just going to paste them in with Control V. So, right, so you notice the text is all black and we want them to be white. This is easy, we can just select them all again, just pressing Control A and we'll just press the white colour here in our palette making sure our full colour is selected. There we go and we've got some white textures in. Now it's uh, simply just a matter of moving the textures around to areas where you like and just making them pretty much look good. Entirely up to you how to do this stage. You can rotate them, move them, whatever. Do stuff like so. Just try and keep things readable, I guess. You don't want to overdo it. So after a bit of um, fiddling around with these textures and you're happy with the placement, we can work on getting rid of all this excess stuff that falls on the outside of the badge here. Um, to do this, pretty much all we're going to have to do is draw a circle over the top of the badge. Like so, making sure the circle doesn't have any stroke or anything. Um, obviously that's not going to line up so because I've already centered the um, the badge to the center of the page I can just go ahead and center the circle here by making sure um, if you click on your little pointer tool here and having the circle selected uh, click on this box here so it's selected it should be aligned to artboard and just hit the um, center to page vertical and horizontal options like so um, zoom in a little bit and hit your circle holding alt and shift we're just going to bring that circle right out to the edge of the stroke there like so there we go now all we have to do is just select everything by pressing ctrl a this should just select the textures in the circle you just drew because everything else should be still locked up and then we're going to go to our pathfinder dialog box here if you don't have that again it's up in your windows should be under right there Pathfinder or, or Shift Control F9. 
Um, in Pathfinder, with everything selected, there should be a little option called Crop right there. Hitting this should crop the circle and the textures. Uh, be warned, this probably will cause your computer to slow down a little bit. It is quite an intensive action considering we have a lot of um, paths and that. But eventually it should get through it. And you'll get a nice little crop circle like that. So now it's just simply a matter of uh, grouping our textures and our badge together. We can just come down and we can unlock our badge here. And we'll just press Control A and group. And now we have a badge which we can move around. We can also copy and paste this into Photoshop. We can uh, use it on a web page, output it for print, whatever. So here's our final product. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, ask a question in the comment section below. Um, also, like and subscribe, that always helps. Um, I do plan on making more tutorials like this. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and have a nice day.